What is up guys, Xenotech here back for another video. Today we'll be reviewing a computer that fits in your pocket. So we'll be doing the Intel Compute Stick. Let's check it out. Alright guys, so let's go on ahead and start with this unboxing of the Intel Compute Stick. And this one I got it online for $149.99. And what really intrigues me, that's why I got this device, is it's really small and compact and it works as a full size computer. And this was released back in February 2016. I know it's a little bit late for me to um, put this out here on YouTube, but let me show you the specs. Alright, so now we got that out of the way. Let me show you the, the compute stick real quick. I'm sorry, I was about to say fire stick. It does look like a fire stick, guys, but in, um, we're gonna do a little size comparison later on um, compared to the actual fire stick. But this one's actually a full size computer, and you know, we've, technology has come a long way where computers can literally just fit in your pocket. Well, a smartphone is actually a computer, but this one is a full-size Windows 10 computer on a stick which is really cool I would say it's powered by a micro USB uh, via micro USB that is and it also comes with some international plugs so like an adapter plug so it's got US, UK, Europe and Australia I believe there you go All right, so let's go on ahead and start plugging in the uh, US adapter so we can uh, start turning on the Fire Stick in a little bit here. And this one comes with an HDMI extension dongle. Just, you know, some TVs have a really tight space inside or at the back of your TV. So that dongle will actually help reduce the pressure from the actual compute stick. And like and subscribe, guys, if you haven't already done so, I would truly appreciate that. So this is the size comparison with the fire stick and the compute stick and that's the size of, uh, of my hand so as you can see it's still fairly small for a computer this size that would actually power up um, to be a full size computer so what we have here is your power light indicator it turns on blue by the way and then you have your uh, cable loop lock if you want to lock it and that's your fan um, exhaust fan and you got your HDMI plug for the back of your TV and on the right hand side you got your power button and then you also have the uh, micro USB for your power and you have one port for USB 2.0 and then you have 3.0 uh, right next to it so you'll have a lot of um, possibilities with the USB 3.0 so on the back you have your product information and on the left hand side you got some vents there for, for the air intake and also you have your micro SD card slot so this one will go up to 128 gigabytes for your maximum because it's only 32 gigabytes guys that I know that's not gonna be a lot of space for storage so let's go on ahead um, I'm gonna plug this in with the uh, Samsung 22 inch curve monitor um, I also did a review on this one make sure to check it out and like so we're gonna set it up with the dongle just so I won't have any pressure against the actual compute stick so I'm gonna plug in the dongle like so and plug it to the back of the monitor and let's go on ahead and plug in the power adapter so this one's only 5 volts at 3 amps so it's low power consumption guys so it'll be a, a power saver basically you can leave this on all day all night so let's go on ahead and plug the monitor for power one thing I don't like about this compute stick, once you plug in the micro USB, it actually started booting up. And 
I don't know if that's going to be a safety issue um, in regards to the hardware. When you plug it in, it just turns right away. It turns on right away. So initial boot time will be about 40 seconds or so. Um, once you're done doing the initial boot up, it will be about 20 seconds or, or less. So here we are, guys. It's actually booted up. As you can see, it's a full-size working computer, and it's running Windows 10 Home Edition. And let me see here. As you can see, there's not much space left. Um, by the time you set this up, you'll only have 18 gigs left usable storage. So I would definitely, definitely recommend getting a micro SD card, um, at least 128 gigabytes, so you can actually do more work with this little thing. So moving on ahead, let's go through the properties of this computer. It's running on Intel Atom Z8330 at 1.44 gigahertz. It's got 32-bit windows. It's not 64-bit. Um, it's got Intel HD graphics 400. So I don't know if this is going to be a good computer for gaming. And it does not have built-in mic or speakers. So that's going to be separate. So that's one of the uh, cons if you're going to buy this compute stick. I mean, it's really small and compact, but it's gonna miss a few features basically so you're gonna need some adapters some USB um, extensions like a hub of some sort that it will turn one USB to four USB ports or something like that so let's go on ahead and uh, take a look at some videos online um, as you can see I'm moving it around you know the Intel HD graphics at work it's uh, you know it's it's okay um, it's not meant to be a powerhouse, so it's not gonna be a workhorse computer. This is just for basic computing, you know, watching videos, um, typing email, um, doing documents, spreadsheets, and all that. Um, anyway, let's see if um, the Intel HD graphics would do just fine with a 720p video at 60 frames per second. So let me go ahead and uh, click that option here in this video and maximize it and hit play so this is a video test guys just so um, just to give you guys a, an in-depth look so as you can see it runs fairly decent you know for 60 frames per second on that uh, small computer small and compact it actually runs pretty good I'd say the Intel HD graphics 400 um, is doing a pretty good job at it but for games just forget it guys I don't think this one will run actually I'm gonna test something out um, later on um, probably an I don't know like an old game maybe GTA 3 or something like that so because I'm not sure I don't think this is gonna run uh, one of the uh, newer games like GTA 5 or anything graphics intensive so I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm going to go install GTA 3 on this compute stick and we'll see you guys in a little bit. So here we are guys. I finally managed to download GTA 3 and let's see how it goes. And so far, um, it actually runs pretty good. I mean, <laughs> it's this game is like 10 years old, so it has to run at least, you know, pretty good. The resolution that I set this to is at 1080p. Um, the Fire Stick can actually hold a maximum resolution of 1080p. So as you can see, it's actually pretty good. It's running pretty good. But this is the uh, cinematics. Uh, introduction time. of the game. Whoa. She's I don't play the edge of the red light district where we can lay low. But my hands are all messed anyway. up. So you better drive, brother. So here we are. Looking at the game. I'm uh, moving the mouse around. You know, it's it's actually pretty good. You know, I'm I'm not I'm not gonna say I'm impressed or anything like that, but at least it can run some games, you know what I'm saying, for a, a computer this small. So I'm surprised it was able to handle GTA 3. I mean, I know the graphics, just bear with me guys, I know the graphics suck in this game, but it was way ahead of its, um, it was way ahead of its time back in the day. But for the compute stick, you know, like I said, it has come a long way. So I was surprised, oops, um, 
running over people, running over people. Like I said, it's it's pretty good. I mean, it's not recommended for gaming, but you can play. It is possible to play some games, probably some old games, but anything new, anything graphics intensive, I don't think it's gonna go. But there it is, guys. Um, thank you for watching my video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have any questions or comments, just drop it on the comment section below. And thank you guys for watching. Peace.